Hi everyone, it's Rachel here. Um, so I only have a vague idea what I'm going to do in this video, but I have this bag is full and I like to thin it out. There's too much stuff in there gathered, so we need to make some stuff with this. I've also been um, cutting up um, pages for journals, so I've got all these strips. So what I like to do with these strips is make... Sometimes I make long um, strips. I'll show you. You've seen it before. I make things like this here with those. That's all machine stitched onto those pieces. And they're really great just for snipping off and putting on things. So I'll probably do some of that. But I'd also like to do a little bit of hand stitching. So I've got my... Um, let me just check. Okay, that's all on screen. Good. Um, I've got my threads here as well and I think I'm just going to wing it and make it up as I go. How about that? So what I really I did in one of my videos was I did some tabs for um, pages and I want to do that and I hand stitched them. So I've got this here. I think this came from AliExpress and I and I um I dyed it. So I'm wondering no I was thinking if I put something like that, or well maybe I could, I'd need to, hmm, got to figure it out. Got these, this hemp here as well. I should get my good scissors. I've got the glue book there. So maybe I need to cut this smaller. It's going to have it poking out the bottom on each side, maybe one side or both sides. I could do that. Just having a think about it. Let me grab a page. Um, okay, just say this is a page. Maybe on top. Why don't I stitch it on top? And then that. That would be pretty. So we're just going to make some things for the edge of pages. Okay, so I think it's going to be something like that. So I need my thread and I'm going to use a, or maybe this colour, this dusty sort of pink. Oh no, that's too much the same. I don't want it the same. I think I'll use that colour that's kind of like a dusty peach, shall we say. Let's have a look. Okay, are my threads lined up? Of course they're not. So I hope everybody is well. It's The temperature is building here. We're going to get up to 38, 39 degrees tomorrow. It's 37 today. And I think I am staying in. I am not going anywhere. And I'm going to stay in and get things done. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put my knot on the inside, tuck it in there. I'm just going to do a few rows of running stitch. I need to make sure, I've got a bit of a rod of a needle here, um, that I go right through all the layers. Cool. This is something very fast and it's something that you could sit and do while you're watching TV. And I'm not fussed that you'll see that. It's it's all part of it. You can hide it. You can do it, slide slide down on the inside between the two layers, but I'm not going to. So 
And here I've set them far enough apart that I could just get away with doing three. I will have one issue, which I'll tell you what it is in a minute. Maybe I'll do a fourth one. I just change my mind as I go. So I've had this um, trim for quite a long time. I think I just dyed it. I, you know what I did? I got red food colouring. I'm out of food colouring. I need to get some more. I got red food colouring, and and but I put it in with tea. So it gave it this sort of old sort of pink look. Not It wasn't bright. Otherwise, it would have been bright. It just dulled down the colour. And so... Um, I got this nice pink, but I haven't used it yet, so um, I put that on backwards, doesn't matter. It's all part of it, bit of texture, who cares? Right, so that's that, knot it, snip it off. And now what I'll do is when I put it in my book on the edge of the page, you glue that down or stitch it down on the edge of the page might even stitch it and then that will stick out and then that will just flap around or you can glue it down that's going to be pretty how quick was that that was really quick so let's see what else we can come up with where will i put that i'll put it in my i'm going to keep some of these strips because these strips can be made into things we'll keep those i think i can't keep everything i'll check the rest out there's too many too many strips look at all the strips you get and chopping down pages Okay, we've got to keep those strips and we'll keep that strip. Okay, I'm going to put my made things in my little garbage basket. And we'll do those afterwards. So here we've got another one, another piece that will be good for that. And I would like to layer up a bit more. I'm a bit... Oh, that's pretty. I love that. It's a Tilda fabric. We'll snip that off. Put that on there. And what else? Oh, what about a bit of this? Put a bit of that behind. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay. And the other side can just be stitched. Now, what colour do I have? Do I want that colour? I like this colour. I think I'll go with this colour again. Um, now, will I, I'm thinking, will I use this one? Well, I might do, instead of running stitch, I might do cross stitch. Oh no, I might do stitches like this, just a sec. Let's see. I could possibly hold something on the other side. Just a minute. Put that on the opposite side. I could even put another bit of that under there. Now we don't want to go too cray cray. Right, so I'm going to do this type of stitch. Whoops. Just got to, if you're going to put something on the other side, you've got to make sure you capture it. I'm going to go like that. I might, in this case, slide it in. I've slid it in between the two layers. So that way, you can't see. But I am going to do two stitches, one over the other. So it's double. Can you see that? So you get the stitches on the other side as well. And I am going to run out of thread. So let's end that off already and get a better piece of thread. It won't matter. You'll hardly even notice it. And again, I'm careful not to stitch this closed because that's what I'm going to use to attach it to a page. So I'm making little tabs today. And we might make um, sort of, it's kind of like a, it's not really a snippet roll, but it's, um, similar idea just done in a different way and hand uh, machine sewing not hand sewing machine you could hand sew it so, so I'm getting myself tangled okay You watch, I'll make five of these and I won't have even made a dent in this mess here. And I had emptied that out, making no the, the other things I'm going to make. So I'm putting my knot on the inside. 
and that's why I'm doing double stitches so that way I hold it on the other side as well and I'm doing two one over over the top and then here I'm just going to go in near where I came up and slide across to where I want my next stitch to go so you can't see that movement if you know what I mean so then I come up here and I'll do a double one again just makes it thicker and and more obvious and then I'm going to slide across again to my next point and I mean it's easy to do when you um this is hemp and hemp is very um it's very thick so it's very easy to sort of slide in between the two layers so I'll show you close up in a second And that's crooked, but do we care? No. Hopefully there's no perfection police around. I don't think I get the perfection police here because I'm I don't do anything perfect. Okay, and that is done, and that was a super fast one as well. Okay. I want to throw that in my basket, but I'm putting my stitch. So that's open there. And then I've just done these little messy stitches across. And I want the messy look. That's what I like. So there we go. So there's another one. Let's see what else we can do. I've got this. This is a piece of um, printed on hemp that I have. And I might put this one like that. Do I want anything else? I do I think I'm just layering them up I'm kind of making little clusters really and I'm not going to use that color although I would like that color I like that okay let's just finish off this one we'll finish off this thread and then I can get a, a different color thread And if you wanted to, you could add buttons, you could add something, st adding something stamped, that's a good idea. And I might um, just whip stitch around this one. So whip stitching is like overcasting stitch too, that you could call it that. Got a knot. So when you get these little loopy knots, I just put my needle in. It doesn't always work, but most of the time it does. And just pull it up and then it comes undone sometimes they're very tight and they're hard to get undone sometimes I cannot get them undone so yes it doesn't always work but generally it does so you can barely see this beautiful um, fleshy sort of antique fleshy color very subtle and that will be glued on the edge of a page I'll grab a page and I'll show you and then you know, sometimes you can stitch them stitch them on with the machine as well just depends what you feel like what look you're going for um, I'm just going to do some little stitches around here because we want to stitch it all down and we will go around here even though that's kind of flimsy stitching into that netting but we want the look to go all the way around So hopefully you can see. Whoops. I'll show you what the back looks like as well. Not much. go around across the top and that was perfect length and then I'll show you close up and you I mean you could do a little embroidery in the middle of that if you wanted to but you know like if you're in the in the spirit of um, making a whole lot together um, 
you can do that sort of thing afterwards so just show you that there you can do that sort of thing afterwards you can just leave that and then decide uh, okay we have this lovely piece here let's see what else I've got this piece I need to do something with this let's give this a rip oh it doesn't want it oh, there we go got it I think I'm gonna just do some I have to finish off this thread so I finished I was just gonna do some running stitch across that one and that way I finished off this thread and we'll do a different color This is what I felt like doing today and I highly recommend when you're doing creative stuff and I'm sure you all know that but I highly recommend just doing what what you feel like don't do it if you don't feel like doing it because you'll make a mess it won't turn out the way you want it to so you've got to do what you feel no point in fighting it so if I wanted to I could slide in between the two layers but I'm not too concerned about it I don't mind seeing the next step that little stitch there to come down it's like a zigzag gives you a lovely texture to your tabs as well Okay, I've gone quiet just because I'm concentrating. I'm going to break my rules. Normally I do odd numbers, but I don't want to go down too much further. So I'm going to end it right there. Throw that in the basket. We'll look at them again afterwards. Now what else do I have here? Um, well that was a heart, but I'm not going to use it as a heart. You should be used to me by now, just snipping things. I just snip it away. Nice piece of hemp here. Got some tea dyed, I don't know. I don't want that curvy bit. Oh, what about if that, like that, that's pretty. So I don't need to do too many, I'll just do two rows on that one. You just adjust to um, however big your piece is. Here we go, I've got some thread here. I just do a double one there and you'll hardly be able to see the stitching on this one because it's a light colored thread it's not exactly the same color but it just sort of camouflages in there
Actually, I'm going to do three rows. I've got a bit more space than what I thought. Just simple running stitch. Anybody can do this. Anyone. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so what else can we do? We've got a nice thick piece of hemp put that there and maybe that at all okay and I did like this I like those or oh, maybe a bit of this Is it Not that one? Yeah, that's going to be it. So here, I'm going to change color. In there I might go with this color this one of my favorites Okay. It's quite chunky, so it will just stick out the side of a page. Because the piece of hemp, it's actually a piece of grain sack that was quite thick. So it's chunky. And because I don't want to go um, over the writing, I'm just going to go around the, the edge.
giving you just enough thread. Turn that off. And here's the page, and then you just stick that on the page, or you could actually have it that way. I think I'd like it better with the colour on that side, and that will just stick out there. I mean, if you wanted like uh, some lace sticking out, let me see what I've got around here. Um, do I have anything that's appropriate? Is the question. Not really. Could have something like that sticking out the side as well. Okay, we'll throw that in there. So I will go ahead and do more of those just simple ones. What's about something like this? What would I do with this? That would stick out really a long way. But that would be pretty. Yeah, which is that that's the right side, I think. Like that. There's a bit of embroidery on that side. See what are we going to put on here? Have something like that. I think I'll just stitch that on with this. I don't have much of this one left. I think I might have another one of these somewhere. Don't even know what number that is. It doesn't have a number on it. How many threads are here? Three. We'll just use three. And I am just going to, I don't want to stitch down my ruffle too much, do I? I think I'm just going to slip that in there. I'm just going to stitch across it. See what happens. Instead of stitching this closed, it can stay open, but I'll also leave that open so it can tuck onto a page. And this was a piece of ruffle that I kind of stitched in a wonky fashion, so I just cut it up into smaller bits and you can just use it like this. So one side is plain, except for the stitching with the embroidery on that side. I think it's machine embroidered, it doesn't look like it's hand embroidered, this one. Um, and then the other side has the ruffle on it. It's all very random what's happening. Maybe we'll do two rows. So I can feel that I've gone through and I can see my needle there, so that's good. Okay, that's that side. It's not particularly neat. Do two knots and that is that one done. Just to show you 
that's really going to stick out quite far or otherwise you could actually just stick it down there if you wanted to or if you've got a little page that's shorter you can put it on there and then it will like just say let me see just say I've got this page and this is the actual width of my book and I could stick it on that page or the other one or that one that's slightly shorter stick it down there and then in your book you only see that bit sticking out but that and that's inside like that so that's the thought with that one. Oh, we've got more bits here that lends itself to some stitching isn't that pretty now this one what I might do is put that over like that All right yes trim it off and you could put a pin in there if you want to hold it what I might do with this one I still always use this here in my old style of knot my sister was like what is that knot that you're doing okay so kind of line it up and I am going to I'm going to leave some there for gluing down I'm going to put my knot on the inside and I'm going to go around the edge just going to make sure I catch it on the other side There you go. So this one you just have to take your time and double check and I'm just stitching over the edge. So one side will obviously be neater than the other. But do we care? No. And I'm going to slide across inside. If I can, yep. See how you can't see that side? I'm inside between the two layers, or the, the four layers really, because you've got the lace as well. And then I just can come down this side. Hope I'm not making you seasick flipping it over, but I have to check that I capture the other side as well. You can see it there, it's not too bad. Have to untuck that. checking I started about there so a couple more stitches one more after this and then this one is finished hi Lily hi what are you doing I'm making these oh cool I'm hand stitching them to stick on the edge of pages cool you want to make one? Oh, you're tired. Yes, very tired. I'm drained from yesterday. Oh, yeah. Why? What happened yesterday? I went to the beach. The yeah, beach only went for the afternoon. Yeah, I know, but like, normally I am tired after the beach. Sunday, oh, dearie me. Well, I, I was a lot in the sun. And then that will go on a page. Right. This brush is prickly. Yeah, it's a prickly brush. It's for glue. I didn't want anything to be too um, delicate. Right. Okay. So, oh, another thing is you can just ruffle those and they can go down the sides of pages. That could be ruffled, although I like that. I could ruffle that. Okay, so now we've done a bit of those. I've lost my needle. There's a pin. Lost my needle. Did I put it over there? I don't think so. I know it's just flopped down here somewhere. I'm sure you guys can see it and I can't. Now the other thing I like to do with these, no, the needle has gone. Okay, so we get these, we'll find the needle afterwards. 
and I get my glue and I just put a little bit of glue on here and join them together so I can move this out of the way and slide on over a bit further put these all over here Oh, I think there's my needle. I did stick it in the thing. Good girl. Okay, so what I do here, I'll need a bit of a, I need a, um, a glue page. I just run a little bit of glue down the centre. It's only temporary because then it will be stitched on the sewing machine. And I grab these and I just stick them on. It's really easy. So this one will be a bit narrower than the other one. Just change my colours a little bit here and there. Now you've seen me do this a million times. So it's nothing new, but we like to repeat ourselves, don't we? Well, I do. That might be good for... I'll put my ones that I think I might like to sew as... Um, tabby sort of things I'll put them aside here's a nice piece so I start with my planar colors and work my way up to the um, other colors I don't know if I got glue there now the glue is just temporary there was no glue there at all that's fun I don't want all that those blobby bits because afterwards I take it to my sewing machine and I um, I just, I stitch down the center and then I do two, with this one I just do two down the side. Um, but I won't do that on on camera because with my new setup, my sewing machine is, is um, on the other table. Let's see what else. I don't know why I like that so much. It's just a tea dyed cotton, but I do. Anyway, I'm gonna put some on here that there and put that there then I come back I could add another piece should we add another piece I'll add this this has already been glued together oh no it's just one piece okay we'll glue that on and we'll do some more because you can just keep on going you just can keep on adding more and more and more see I just just glue it on it's just very easy very easy have some more of this so you can see the tea dyed on there it's a very easy way to do a in inverted commas uh, I say inverted commas because it's not exactly a snippet roll but it's similar Grab this pretty fabric that was gifted to me I love it I like to put it here and there, put that there. And you put all different things because you're only going to be using bits and pieces. So, um, I mean, look at that pathetic piece. Well, you don't throw it out because this is what you can do with it. You just don't throw things away. But the problem is we end up with so many, many bits and pieces because we don't throw anything away anymore. So, well, let's just say we can do it this long. Okay, then we come back to the beginning. Oops, I lost a piece. Doesn't matter. And you come back to the beginning and then you add, I mean, I even add these things. Now, this is the seam. So it's a little bit chunky, but I'm going to add some of that. Now, I might have trouble getting this to stick on for a minute till I stitch it, but let's hope that it will stay. And you just, it just slowly adds texture to what you're doing. So you can add that there. And I sort of, overlay them so that way um, it sort of unifies everything if you know what I mean you can have a bit of I like to add bits of lace here and there I'll add this little piece And I might add, not that one. Um, oh, I like even these pieces are good. Let's put a little bit of glue there just to hold it till you, till you can stitch it. Put that there. Now that I'm feeling like it might like a little piece of lace under it. 
Oh, actually, I might put that, put that up there. No, that doesn't, well, it depends how, if, I think I might like that under there. So what I'll do is I'll lift that, put a little bit of glue there, and then stick that down, and then that go, will go over the top. And I do straight stitch. I don't even zigzag. That there. Oops. See, it tipped over. Look what happened. Everything stuck to it. Okay. And what else do we have going on here? Uh, we could have a piece of something else. So even this little triangle here will stick on. All adds to it. little bit of texture here we can add I'd have will I stick something long under there first this is what happens again that's why I don't like my glue tipping over because it sticks to things it's annoying Put that there that there and then here I lost a piece. It's on the floor somewhere. I can't see where it went, so I won't worry. I'll just stick this piece on. It was the same was that one, I'm pretty sure. I've also got these little flowers. These are cute to add, but maybe I'll add something else first. Maybe we'll have a bit of lilac with the script. What about the light? No, I think I like the lilac with scripts because I'm adding on a third layer. But some places I add a bit more because I like a bit more. Yep, I like that. And here I think I like this little piece of lace. And then that one is ready to stitch. So we'll put that one aside. If I wanted to add on another piece here, I could just glue it under there and keep on going. So what I do is I'll go and stitch that. And then if I want to add more to it, I can still add more to it afterwards. I kind of feel like I might like something else up here. Just a minute. Just a mini. Um, I might like a little piece of this pretty lace. I think I would stitch that on there or under there. No, maybe under. So let's get some glue here. It just has to last a little while till I can... There we go, that's better. It gives it a little bit more texture. So I'll put that aside carefully over near my sewing machine and I'll stitch that off camera. Now I do have a wider one here. Let's put two of these together or three of these together. Sometimes I'll just put the wide ones with the thin ones and then just stick wider pieces of fabric everywhere. So these are all fabric. You can also mix in paper if you want to. And I don't mean paper as the base. I mean paper with as the decoration as well. But I just I'm doing fabric at the moment. So they're going to be tabs. So this, so in this case, I'll put that on there, but then what I'll do is I'll put another piece next to it. If it's not wide enough, that's what you do. We go here, oh, here's a beautiful, see that will go on top, that's a flower. Oh, here's a nice piece of hemp. It's not ironed, but nothing's ever ironed in my world. Um, now, I want something there. Put that there. Now, I'm going to glue down some of this. Here's the piece that I cut, and I'll put it that way so that the cre where it's creasing doesn't get in my way afterwards. And then I'm going to have some of this here. I think somebody had tied something up with that. It's lovely. I'm going to put that a little bit overhanging there. I mean, these are honestly the fastest snippet rolls you'll ever make. They are super fast. Super duper. Just got to find my bits. I've already put glue there. a bit more down here and we will add this one 
put it in, even at an angle. Oh, there's no glue there. Well, that's not going to help. What about this piece? That's just a piece of cotton. There's nothing exciting about that. It's not even tea dyed. Oh, I love a little bit of, um, what's it called? Ticking. A bit of ticking is always good on these. And you just work your way down. And then we come back and do our other layering. Um, put that over there. Oh, no, why don't I put some on my paper? That's too narrow. Here we go. We'll have some of this. Hmm. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that, but I did. Very nice. I don't want the pink. I want something plain. Oh, what about this? Put some of this on here. Any more hemp floating around? I've got that one. We'll put some more. That one's a bit wide. See, now I'm getting down. Oh, I think I'll have a bit more of this. This came from Sue from Paper Inspiration. I think I'll cut it because I have trouble tearing such a thin strip and I'm going to glue that there. And then I can put on some of that hemp. And that's a wide expanse of hemp, but a long expanse of hemp, I should say. Oh, crinkled. Just a second. Let's just give it a tuck. There we go. Okay, and then what? I probably, maybe I should fold this over. That might be good. So these are purely fabric ones, except obviously except for the base. But having it on this base makes it really, really, really easy to do really easy put that there let me just see I've got some more fabrics over here that I can use they should all be in that bag um, that might be nice to sew as a tab here's a piece No, I don't like that one there. Oh, I've got that little piece to use. I've got to keep that aside. Oh, what about a bit of pink? A little bit of pink. There. And then... Please let me have something that I need. Oh, here we go. Put a little piece of this. This is cheesecloth, but it's a, a more tightly woven cheesecloth. It's actually Stamperia, this one. I bought a roll of it and I tea dyed it. Okay, so let's come back and decorate this. So there, oh, I might have a piece of this. Here we go. Let's have a piece of this. I love this stuff. I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? What type of lacy stuff is it? I don't know. Now here, um, could have a bit of this there or there or oh, I like it there I can have oh this is good stuff this is I don't know this is not really a cheesecloth but it's that one that I always pull out that um I said that that it was for shops to do displays on you can stick this little piece in the middle you just need a blob of glue I need to stick this one on somewhere, but I think I'd like a bit of something of a different texture under it. Although I think I might, I might like that there. I do, I do. So you change your mind in an instance. It's just changed in an instance. Look at that. Okay, and then here I can have. Let's see what this looks like. Mm, a bit boring. Oh, what about a piece of this again? 
This is great stuff. That's a bit too much glue. Stick that down. Yep, see how good that is? That is wonderful. I don't want that because that's the same as the other. Look how much stuff I've still got. I tell you what, make to, to get a dent in there is quite hard work. Quite hard work. Oh, got a bit of blue. No, too much blue. What about these flowers? Cute. I feel like it needs a little bit of something behind it. That's better. And then Oh, I quite like that. Now I did mention that some stamping um, some stamped fabrics would be good. So I'm gonna hop up and get grab those in a second because I've got those already from when I did them with the 100 day project and we'll just see if we'd like to add anything like that on here I'll glue that there it needs to stay down and that needs to go there and then we'll just put something down here maybe these yes you see I did find a home for them and they go there now let's just grab the stamped things. Oops, I just dropped them. Anyway, I wanted maybe some words or numbers. So let's go back here. Oh, I love this. Now that I'm standing up and I can see it better, so here we go. Why don't we just put a few of these here and there? They could look really good. Now you can't see, but I'm just gluing that up there. I'll show you in a sec. See? There. And what else do we have? Let's pull a few out. Don't, no, I don't want anything too long, I don't think. Could put... Nate, oh, isn't that nice? Good nature there. So you can just put as much stuff on there as you want. You won't do all words. Oh, I like that there. Create. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. That's going to work well there. And then, let me see, one more thing. Maybe we'll put a number... And of course, if you have little bees and things like that, they would look good as well. But I dropped mine on the floor and I have to get under the table to get them. So I won't I won't torture you and do that now. Um, and I think I'll put that one here. OK, so I'm going to pause the video or well, stop the video and then I'll join them together. Um, and I'm going to stitch these and then I'll show you how they turned out. So I'll see you in a minute. Back. Bye. And they have been stitched three times. So three rows of stitching. And I'll just show you what it looks like. It all comes together when you do that. Sometimes with these wider ones, if I feel like it's necessary, I'll do another row or even five rows of stitching. But um, it really, really does come together um, when you stitch it. So this one I'm actually thinking I'm going to stitch down there again because, look, I don't like that. So I will stitch down another side with this one. But with the narrow one, silly glue falling over I didn't need to so this is more pastel and shabby so this narrow one I would use on tops of tags and um, like snip off a little bit like that and put it on a tag or I put a little piece on the edge of a page a little piece on the edge of the page like that or a tag or a journal card I want to say um, so this wide one you can even it can even go as a belly band down a page can even be a belly band it's really really pretty so I like making those and I, I'll probably sit down and continue making them 
until I've used up a lot of this stuff because it's just been growing and growing and growing and driving me bananas because there's too much stuff there. And then, of course, we made these. So I'll just show you these on the old book page there. And they are going to be just little tabby things to put on or even on journal cards, tops of top tag toppers like that could go on the top of a tag it would be a very tall one but very pretty like that would be lovely on there actually um that i didn't make that but that's just a ruffle that's another idea um that can stay in there and then this is also the, the same idea it can be a tag topper very pretty or on the edge of a page so i need to sit down and make more of these probably i've got some empty tins i should just fill up an empty tin just do them in all different colors so again that can go on the top isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that on the top of a tag. So you put that little handmade element, even though you can own, I can just see the stitches. So you probably can't see the stitches there. But that, yeah, that's the idea. That can go on. Um, I mean, you could even put that on the side of a tag. Be pretty. Um, or on the side of a page. Same with this one and this one as well. This one's more simple. But if you've got a nice fabric, just a few rows of stitches, just gives you that little special hand hand stitched touch to it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just making super fast snippet roll, which we've done before. Just doing it again, just in case we all forgot. And um, and of course, if you if you didn't machine stitch, you would just glue them down really well with um, if you have this Giotto glue stick this is very good for fabric it tends to stay down quite a bit otherwise you could use Fabri-Tac I don't have Fabri-Tac because um, that dries quickly and maybe is not so wet um, and um, or it would be quite cool to do three rows of hand stitching obviously that would take longer but um, I might go ahead and try one of those and then come back and show you. But the only thing with that is I probably would let the glue dry a little bit more just because I think you're going to get, um, with the needle going through, it doesn't seem to worry my sewing machine, but I think with the needle going through, it's going to um, get a little bit sticky. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you again soon. Bye.